Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. What's up, everyone? Welcome to an episode of the Symbiote Stream. This is episode 13, and today we are going to unbox our Spider-Man PS4 Collector's Edition. This is pretty awesome because I really didn't have the money to buy this thing. Uh, luckily, I was able to put $50 down on it back when uh, our tax money came back uh, in the springtime. And it's been just $50 on it most of this time. And then when I sold my Xbox uh, to GameStop, I traded it in about a month and a half, two months ago. And I was able to use that store credit to pay off the rest of this. So, uh, man, I hope this game is worth it because I really loved my Xbox. Uh, but I am very excited to play a Spider-Man game. And I really do like Insomniac games. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of a late bloomer. I played some of the early stuff. But the Ratchet and Clank and things like that, that was kind of, you know, under my age group at the time when it came out. I wasn't really like, you know, didn't gravitate towards it. Uh, but I thought, you know, I appreciate it for what it was. And I saw other people play it and had friends that played it. Uh, but it never really pulled me in. But then I started getting into their games years later. And I really like, in recent years, Song of the Deep, which was a really great game. And uh, you probably saw me post about it on my Instagram the day I like impulsively bought it. I was like, hey... $20 game and then I you know I got some other like little uh, collectible things and I was like hey let's try it out and it turned out to be a wonderful game uh, and then obviously Sunset Overdrive which I'm a huge fan of and when I played that game the whole time I kept thinking man I hope Insomniac Games makes a superhero game one day and I was thinking the way that uh, Sunset Overdrive went that maybe they'd be good for Deadpool but when I found out they were doing Spider-Man I thought that was pretty awesome. And I haven't really followed this game that much. I uh, luckily avoided every single spoiler. I think I know about maybe four costumes or five costumes that are in the game. And that's pretty much it. And I, I just avoided all the spoilers from this. And I've just been so busy doing Venom blog stuff that I just haven't had my finger on the pulse of this game. And I tried to do things where I was like reviewing stuff and looking at the newspapers. And you guys saw me try things to help promote this game uh, because I was excited for it. But I just didn't have time. And really Venom is my top priority. So I just kind of reverted and went back to making more Venom vlogs and stopped making videos on this but it didn't mean I cared less about it I was still excited for it so today we are going to open this up um, I have my keys here I guess we'll use my key to um, it's pretty sharp we'll use it to open this here cut that and we'll see what's inside because I don't even remember everything that comes in here I think there's like some kind of collectible statue and to be honest the box is a little bit smaller than I was anticipating when I got there and I was like oh there's a statue in this box I was surprised that it wasn't you know like this big um, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not uh, upset by that, especially if the, the statue turns out to be awesome. And I don't even think anyone has seen the statue yet. I'm sure at this point people have because, you know, it's past uh, midnight on the East Coast and here on the, uh, on the West Coast it's past 9 p.m. So we have the box here. I'll show it off real quick. You got the white Spidey logo on the side and then you got stuff on the back showing you what's in here. And I guess what we're going to see, it says be greater up here. And it says we're going to get the full PS4 game, a custom steel book, uh, Marvel's Spider-Man statue, Marvel's Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps DLC voucher. Uh, we also get a 64-page mini art book and a white spider sticker. So uh, let's see if that's worth <laughs> trading my Xbox for. Um, oh, wow this, wow, this box looks nice. Check that artwork out. That is amazing. And I think PlayStation released a uh, exclusive theme, Spider-Man theme, uh, that you can go download. If you go to the PlayStation website, you can download an exclusive uh, Spider-Man theme. I think you have to scroll down towards near the bottom of the page. Um, but yeah, you could get that that theme there on your uh, PlayStation 4. And I actually downloaded it, and it's great. It plays the theme song from the game and has like cool spider thwip sounds when you like you know change menu stuff. So it's pretty neat. Um, all right, let's slowly, slowly pull this up and get this off. All right. I love that. That looks amazing. Um, pun intended. All right. Warning. Contains spoilers. Do not open until story completion. You know what? I don't really care, uh, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't care. I've avoided spoilers, but it's not. But if I ever got spoiled, I wasn't going to be bummed out about it. Um, so I don't really care that this thing has spoilers. But we got the art book. But for you guys, for your sake, spoiler warning, I guess. I won't open the art book. I won't show too much what's inside right now. But we probably will in a second. I'll do some cutaways to what's inside here. Um, but, you know, boom. There's your warning. If you have not played the game or you don't want to know the spoilers, apparently whatever's in here is going to spoil something in the game. Uh, so, yeah, here's your last chance. Turn away now. Don't watch the rest of this video. I won't be offended. I understand why. Uh, but make sure you're watching our live streams over on Twitch, and I'll edit those and put them up on YouTube here as part of the Symbiote stream. Uh, and my link to my Twitch channel will be down below if you want to see us play it live. Uh, but hopefully you're playing the game yourself. Uh, so, all right, let's do this. Let's do a cutaway, show you some of the interior pages of the art book here. Um, there's some really great stuff in here. It looks like we got uh, just some Spider-Man stuff. Great power, but an even greater responsibility. Part 1, The City of Hope. Uh, we got some shots here of Peter Parker's uh, apartment, which looks like it has a lot of Easter eggs in it. 
which is cool. I think there's like a lot of things in there. Um, we got Kingpin artwork, the drawings of the Kingpin. Uh, oh, we got some characters here. I, you know what? I'll, I'll avoid saying some of them right now, but there's a character in here that I didn't know was going to be in the game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got Silver Sable stuff. Obviously, you guys know Silver Sable exists. Uh, Mr. Negative, Electro, all those characters. Um, and then we have uh, some stuff in the back here. But I'm going to try to avoid... At least some of this. That's cool, though. Is this character... Oh, man. that's I'm so excited now. Um, all right. Let's cut away from that, and let's come back to the Steelbook. Looks like this is going to be what our game is in. And it looks like I'm going to get my DLC code here, uh, and we get the game in this nice Steelbook, uh, which is really amazing looking. Uh, we got our white sticker in here. Oh, and we get a free month of Marvel Unlimited. Uh, enjoy access to 20,000 digital comics, including 50 years of Spider-Man history. You know what? I don't need this, so why don't you guys take it? Boom, I'll put the code right there. If you go to marvel.com slash unlimited, first person to put that code in will get this offer. Uh, offer valid on monthly memberships only, auto renewal, and other terms and conditions apply. So if you do put this code in, uh, just be prepared that in a month from now, they're probably going to charge you uh, for a month, or, you know, for an additional month or something. So there you go. First person out there to put that code in will get that. So enjoy that. I hope you would like it. And the last thing we're going to talk about here is this statue which I, uh, oh man, all right, it looks pretty awesome. So again, last warning, spoilers, uh, if you don't want any, turn away now, uh, because this looks like it has at least a couple on it. Uh, so here we go. You guys ready? Last chance, turn away, and boom. Look at that. I'm going to turn this upside down, place this right here. Look at that. We'll do some close-up cutaways of it. You have the scorpion's tail. You have rhino's head on there. Um, looks like you have Electro's backpack, uh, the other character's arms, I guess. At this point, we're past spoilers, so I guess Vulture, uh, Vulture's wings and Dr. Octopus's arms. So you get things from all six members of the symbiote, uh, from the symbiote six, from the sinister six. Uh, you, sinister, a symbiote six would be a cool team. Uh, but I just wanted to make a cool video for you guys. I wanted to show this off. And I, I kind of did want, you know, I wanted something cool with Spider-Man. I don't have any cool Spider-Man statues. I have a few figures, but this is kind of unique and it's uh, limited to just this. So in the end, you know, probably worth it. I just, for me, it's like $150 is a lot of money. I, you know, I'm, I'm at that age where I'm like, oh, I could pay this kind of bill or I could do this with it or get my car fixed. Uh, you know, really responsible things, things that Peter Parker, decisions he would make. Um, but you know what? Every once in a while, Peter Parker puts money towards a car or a motorcycle like he did in Spider-Man Blue to, so he could drive Gwen Stacy out on a date. So this is uh, my moment where I guess I get to, you know, be selfish with my money. So you guys let me know what you think of all this. Uh, did you like this? Do you think it's worth $150? Would you have paid that? for this um, and uh, yeah I just want to hear your thoughts down below so let me know what they are and like I said after this we're going to start streaming the game so make sure you're subscribed to me on or follow me on Twitch if you subscribe that's paying money you can do that too that would be awesome because um, I could definitely use some but uh, but don't worry about it if you just follow me over there you can watch us play through the game and if you don't have Twitch or you don't have access to Twitch for whatever reason um, or your parents won't allow you on Twitch uh, for whatever reason don't worry, on YouTube here, we'll upload our playthroughs edited into the Symbiote stream. So episodes 14 onward, you'll see our Spider-Man gameplay. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the support. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?